That's the lies that they like to tell. Yeah, yeah. But they get fed every day, at least twice a day, sometimes mm. three times. Um, it's just your natural wild dog mm. eating. But they like to let people think they never get fed. <laughs> and that's the closest sound you'll get to a dog sound. Otherwise, that squealing, that's their, their bark. Mm. So they, they squeal and then they growl. So everyone, did you feel the hunting technique? Mm. They're running around the vehicle, bomb, bombing us from every side. You don't know where they're going to come from. And by circling us like that, you don't know how many there are either. So it feels like there's about 20 dogs. Mm. Meanwhile, it was just these five. Mm. Mm. It is five males, but your hunting pack can consist of females. This little guy in the front over here, that's Milo. This is, this guy over here is Nesquik. He's got very, very brown pattern. And Milky Way standing at the water, he's got a white bum. Then letting them know the wild dogs are busy hunting, so there's going to be food to steal. And that is why they've been given these big Mickey Mouse ears because they can hear for about five kilometers. So while they're eating, they can hear if the lions are making their way in and would let them know when to basically leave the carcass. Or if they can hear it's only two lions or a leopard or a hyena or something like that that they can defend their carcass with and they know what the, the situation is. But they have to eat very quick like that in case the lions are coming. They don't chew their food, they rip off pieces and swallow it whole. Because then when they do have to leave, they run back home, they drink a little bit of water, the natural water area that they've got, and then get welcomed by the whole family, everyone that's not in the pack. So the old, the weak, the broken. <laughs>